Hello. I'm in Bangalore and this area is called Belindu. And this uh, video is going to be the very first video on this channel. And this channel is about travel vlogging. I started this channel taking inspiration from two of my favorite YouTube uh, YouTube uh, YouTubers who are travel bloggers. Their names are Harold Boulder and Bald and Bankrupt. I've been following their channel for last uh, six to eight months, and I've been so inspired by them that I thought I could, I would love to do something like what they are doing. I'm already interested in travel and photography. I, o I own a DSLR as well. So this is something that I think, I thought I would love to do. So I even ordered the same camera that they are using, which is a Sony action camera. So this video is basically about the introduction of this channel this is an introductory video and since this channel is going to be the travel vlogging channel i didn't want to shoot i didn't want to shoot this introductory video sitting inside a closed room but rather while i'm walking around so that i can show you the city i can show you the place and also get a feel for vlogging in the public place so this is probably the first time that I'm shooting a vlog in a public in a public place so what kind of content you can expect to see on this channel I'll talk about that a little bit if you are aware or if you're familiar with the channels of uh, my favorite youtubers that I just mentioned then you would know the kind of content that they are making and I'm also planning to make the same kind of videos when I travel. Most of the travel vloggers that I see are making videos in such a way that is not very interesting to me. I, I don't feel getting hooked to their videos like I feel watching the videos of Harold or Mr. Ball as they call themselves most youtubers what they do is uh, they do a lot of editing they rely on editing a lot they they would add a lot of effects a lot of uh, music background music uh, slow motion fast motion but if you watch the video from Harold's channel or Mr. Ball's channel, you will see that their videos are different. Their videos may not be as informative as you may find the mainstream travel bloggers, or uh, I won't say mainstream travel bloggers, but other travel bloggers or most of the travel bloggers' videos. Their style is they would walk around with, with their camera in a market or uh, whichever place that they are in, and it would be a footage with bare minimum edits. If they happen to talk to someone, you will see them having that interaction. They would be, they would be the most mundane of things. The things that they talk about, the things that they uh, do, may be the most mundane of things, but they will capture it all. And it looks so real. It's not scripted. It's not, it's not designed to be informative. So when you watch their video, you feel that you're walking along with them. You are in that place along with them. That's the feeling that you get. And that's exactly the kind of content that, that has me hooked to their channel. So I think there is a demand. There are curious people in this world who would like to see, the con see content like that. And I aim to make such content. I don't necessarily want to make my videos all about information about the place that I'm traveling in. Although I'm not against of that, I might make some videos which, which may be uh, designed to be informative. But my interest in making the kind of videos that I f found, find myself hooked to, which is the kind of videos that Mr. Bald and Harold uh, make.
so if you're wondering where I'm coming from and where I'm going I'm coming from my office after completing my shift my evening shift or you can call it night shift it is 4 o'clock in the morning I work from 6 to 4 or 6 30 to 3 30 whatever you call it 9 hours 10 hours around that window and my home currently where I'm staying is about 15 to 20 minutes walk from my office so that's where I'm going this video may last for another 10 minutes so I gave you the introduction about this channel so that's the kind of content that you can expect to see on this channel and how soon the first video will be if you're watching this video today which is 28th of November 2019 then the very first video is coming soon because on the same day this evening I'm traveling to the first place after getting this camera by the way I got this camera today it just arrived from the US along with one of my friends who was one of my friends or my friend who was coming from the US he got it for me because it was cheaper there anyways so yeah this evening I'm traveling to a place called Hampi in the state of Karnataka and as I mentioned earlier I'm in Bangalore so which is also in Karnataka so it's a 10 hour journey in train from Bangalore I'm leaving this evening and I'll be arriving in Hampi tomorrow tomorrow morning around 8 o'clock and I'm planning to make uh, a bunch of vlogs there uh, the design of the vlog will be as I said as I described earlier so I'm not going to go over that again so very soon if you are watching this video around 28th of November because you found it through the title because I'm going to put uh, Harold Boulders and Mr. Mr. Ball's name in the title of this video to get some uh, some of their fans to watch this video let's see if the YouTube algorithms help me there so people who search for Mr. Bald, Bald is bankrupt, Harold Boulder uh, they might see this video in their search result because I'm going to keep their names in the let's look at this area in my in the, in the title of my video is what I was saying so these are pigs you get a very small towny feeling here although this is a metropolitan city Bangalore but this area is considered to be outskirts although it's full of tech parks high-tech buildings so it doesn't look like outskirts to me but yeah that's what they say and I have to believe them because I am new in this city so I don't I don't know shit about this so but when you come to this area I get a feeling like I'm in a small town and that's a nice feeling so <laughs> this brings me to the point that see right now I'm just showing you the place okay so but still if you're still stuck to this video and you're watching this you you might and you and you finding it interesting to to look at the kind of pathways that you see the kind of buildings that you see the kind of road the texture of road that you see then you are the kind of audience that I'm looking for when I go to some new place it may not be a remarkable place but you notice little changes now the roads are textured different buildings are different this road texture I'm talking about see this is concrete but it's not proper like city concrete it's a small town village concrete and the buildings are different the houses are designed in a uh, differently so I feel fascinated when I'm in a new place and I feel very like like a child you know I'm full of curiosity whenever whenever I'm in a new place I want to see that so whenever I watch those youtubers that I talked about as I said they may be talking about mundane things they may be doing mundane things they, that's not in, you know their videos are not informative but just to be able to see how different places look how uh, different people look and talk and everything it's fascinating it makes you feel so enriched and I, I don't know in some way I feel very much in I feel what am I trying to say intrigued 
when I watched that, that those videos. So I hope that you also get such feeling. Look at this. These are bungalows or row houses. I don't know what you call it, but this is not the kind of houses that you see in Mumbai where my home is. So I'm living here as a paying guest. It's a rented room. So living here as a PG temporarily, but my home is in Mumbai. So that's why I refer to Mumbai. Look at this. Guys, let me tell you that this is the first time I'm vlogging in a public place and I've not crossed many people and uh, I don't want to pretend that I don't feel awkward right now. If there were people around, I would feel a little awkward but I think if you are planning to be a travel vlogger, you have to put up with all sorts of embarrassing situations and get over it, get over it. So I'm gonna do that and this very video is the beginning of it and I'm currently training myself to get over this feeling of awkwardness because I always keep telling people that getting rid of awkward awkwardness this feeling of awkwardness this feeling of awkwardness is a superpower and if you have that superpower you can achieve a lot in life much more than you could ever imagine so with that thought I will end this vlog here because I have reached my destination you see this white gate this is where I live on the ground floor and I'll sign off now bye bye